Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Jared Pauly's Fragrance Reviews. Tonight, we're going to be looking at my personal favorite from the House of Guess. This is Guess by Marciano for Men. This is an EDT Eau de Toilette Concentration, which came out in the year 2009. This is a scent that I really enjoy, but I do not think it is going to be for everyone. And you may ask why. And that's because this definitely has somewhat a little bit of a vintage, animalic, oily 80s vibe to it. Many say this scent uh, is similar to Dolce & Gabbana's The One, maybe a little bit in the initial spray, but I don't see any connection in the dry down or in the late dry down. This fragrance does remind me and is in the same genre of Perry Ellis for Men, the original 1985 or the most recent formulation. That fragrance has that kind of dark, spicy, oily vibe to it. So we're going to take this out of the bottle. And this is another uh, out of the package. This is another thing I love about this fragrance. I love this bottle. Kind of this copper, gold, and this dark brown bottle. It's very, very beautiful. So give it a spray. Average house sprayer. So initially, you get... A spicy, kind of sweet, leathery, dark, somewhat ambery, sexy, and sensuous scent. And this is where people draw the connection to Dolce & Gabbana the one. But it's already changing. And now it is not as spicy, not as sweet. But it becomes heavier in an oily way. And this is where it starts to remind me of Perry Ellis for men from 1985. Later on in this fragrance, it becomes even more oily. It becomes ambery. There's still some spice, but it's definitely, definitely animalic, warm, and woody. And I would even say there's a later dry down, and it's even smoother. And that may be the most pleasant part of this fragrance. So I think there is quite a bit of development in this fragrance. It is somewhat complex, but not ultra complex. As advertised, the notes are pepper, mandarin orange, amber, various spicy notes, ebony tree, ginger, leather, la lavender, musk, patchouli, sage, violet, neroli, star fruit, and rosemary. Performance on this one is okay. Three hours, moderate projection, not the greatest push, but it plays very well off the clothes and it's, it's an intimate scent. It's very good on the skin especially in that late dry down. You're going to have to reapply, but I wouldn't necessarily overspray. And this is a mistake people make. They think they're going to spray it 20 times. You're better off to spray a couple of times and a few hours later, spray a couple more. Spraying 20 or 10 times or 15 times, some people go crazy. It's not going to get you the same result because there's a, like a saturation point for every fragrance where you only can your skin can only take so much and the aroma it can produce is only so much. But this is a skin scent. It's intimate, especially later on. Final thoughts on this. I think people will be split on this fragrance. I really like it. This is a fragrance I wear for myself. And I do think this is kind of like a power scent. Like a, like a gentleman that was a stockbroker in New York on the 100th floor of a skyscraper. It has that kind of mature... A, a vibe that a guy would wear to a meeting or a business affair. There's a certain level of seriousness in this fragrance. I have known some other people that have worn this, and this does have a little bit of a variety the way it plays off people's skin. I get a much deeper, dark, leathery, oily scent. Other people get more sweet and spicy, so it depends on your body chemistry and on your, on your body temperature. Ladies will also be split on this. Some may find it very, very sexy. Some may find it almost maybe even a little bit stinky. But this is a great price. This is not a mainstream fragrance. This is not uh, sweet uh, Ambroxan style. This is a more mature fragrance that I think a gentleman in their late 20s and up would wear. Or someone that wants to form the image of being taken seriously and being more mature. So this is something you can, it's readily available. You can try before you buy but wait for the dry down. Don't always just think the first couple of sprays, that's the way it's going to smell. It takes some time to develop. And I think this is also a very good fragrance. You could spray under the clothes 
with the body heat, and I think it would resonate very, very well. So for me, this is a winner. This is a, a modern favorite of mine, and you may like it as well. So you may want to give it a shot, but always try before you buy. If you like this video, hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, any comments or questions you have on this great fragrance by Guess by Marciano, leave them down below, and I'll always get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.